So before we actually get into the performance of this card, let's talk about why you might actually want it in 2021. Well, for me personally, it was one, the price, and two, that insane 11 gigabytes of VRAM, at least compared to my old 980 Ti. But anyway, let's talk about the price. How much should you actually be paying for one of these? Well, in my opinion, you should be paying less than that of a 5700 XT or even a 2070 Super, as those cards are newer and they're technically better if you're playing at higher resolutions because you can use stuff like DLSS to get even more frame rate. Okay, so in my case, I'm actually kind of going against what I just said because I bought my 1080 Ti for about 560 Aussie dollars, including postage. However, it came with a water block, which made it worthwhile for me because I have a custom loop in my build. So now let's get into the performance of the card. How well does it actually stack up against something like a 980 Ti in 2021? Well, frankly, not as great as I expected. Like, don't get me wrong, it's still a decent amount better, but at 1440p, it's not exactly the most amazing experience that you would think you would have with this card. For example, in Metro Exodus, I tried playing at extreme 1440p settings on my 980 Ti, and it didn't really go well. I was getting about 20 to 30 FPS, and on the 1080 Ti, you might think, oh, it'll smash that, no problem, but it actually only got around 40 to 70 FPS, depending on the situation. So it's not exactly amazing that. But in other newer games like Star Wars Squadrons, for example, the 1080 Ti scaled pretty nicely there, I'm not gonna lie. It got around about 50 to 100% more frames. So it was around twice as fast as my 980 Ti at 1440p, highest settings. And then in another game like Battlefield 1, which is obviously a bit older, but people actually still play it. You can still find full servers on there, so that's pretty cool. So at ultra settings, 1440p on Battlefield 1 with 125% resolution scale, my 980 Ti would get around 60 to 70 FPS, but it would also dip down into the 50s occasionally. So it wasn't exactly the most amazing experience and you can see kind of why I wanted to upgrade. And that's where my 1080 Ti comes in and pile drives the 980 Ti. Basically, this thing came in and just got 100 FPS at ultra 1440p settings. So on older games, the 1080 Ti is still an absolute beast of a card. So in terms of performance, the 1080 Ti, for me specifically, in gaming, it wasn't exactly like what I was expecting, which was about two times the performance and everything, no compromises, insane gameplay, but yeah, it didn't really live up to that. 